welcome to another Mind Blow Mini Lesson with Miss Hoover. Today we are talking point of view. And there's owls there because that tells us who is telling the story. Sorry, that was cheesy. Uh, so our I can statement today is I can read a book or text and determine who is telling the story or information. So materials needed today, you need your Chromebook, your chapter book, your point of view brochure, and a positive can-do attitude. Here we go. Alrighty, so let's talk about point of view. The point of view is just who is telling the story. And point of view gets really easy when you know what keywords to look for. So first person point of view would be like, if I was writing my own story about me, I would use I, me, my, we, us, are. It would be me telling the story, okay? Second person point of view you would see pronouns like you and your. And third person, which is going to be my example. And that's going to be someone else is telling a story about someone. So they might use the pronouns he, she, his, her, it, they, them, their. Okay. We, we usually see first person and third person the majority of the time in novels. However, second person will come up every once in a while. So that's just something to keep in mind. Some sentence starters uh, when talking about point of view. I know the text is written in blank point of view because the author wrote this in blank point of view and the text evidence to support this is the point of view is blank and my proof is. So those are some examples you can use while you're responding. So let's go back to who was Rosa Parks. Great book, by the way. If you want a copy, let me know. So I know that this book is written in third person point of view. I know this because the text uses she, her, and they. So let me find an example of that. So here is an example from page two. Rosa grew up in Pine Level, Alabama. At that time in the South, black people and white people led separate lives. All of Rosa's friends and family were black. She hardly, she, knew any white people. How could she? Black people weren't allowed in the same restaurants or hotels. They couldn't swim in public pools with white people or drink from the same water fountains. So just right there in that paragraph, I found three pronouns that prove that this is written in third person point of view. Rosa Parks did not write this story about herself. Someone researched her life and got the information they needed to share about her life from their point of view. All right, hopefully that helps, and feel free to ask any questions if you need help determining your story's point of view.